Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, July 8th. <laughs> and uh, it's late in the day. It's like 7. <laughs> and I've been busy all day. So this, but I'm going to tell you what I'm here for and then I'll chat in a minute. <laughs> this is my sweater update for the collab that I'm doing with a bunch of other ladies. They're not doing any video today. Let's see here. It's Carrie Penny from Happy Crafty, Happy Crafty Homemaker. <laughs> Uh, Connie from Connie's Crafty Corner, Olivia from Fiber Fun with Olivia, and Shannon from Shannon Talks Yarn. Uh, we're doing a collaboration so far this year. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I always forget the hashtag. It's like hashtag summer make along 23 or 2023. It'll be somewhere. Um, so anyways, basically, you know, we're doing sweaters and we're keeping you guys posted on it. <laughs> so this is my update for my sweater. Uh, like I said, they're all kind of busy with life and stuff, so they're not doing videos, but I'm going to go ahead and do mine because I actually got some work done. <laughs> so I didn't want to come on here and share with you guys. So I am doing a free pattern that's called Easy Crochet Heart Sweater. <laughs> um, it's free on YouTube. It's a two-part tutorial. There's two different videos, and I'm completely done with the first video. The first video is the front and back panels. The second video is the sleeves and then putting it all together and blah. Uh, the color and the brim, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, so I'm on the second video now, which is exciting. So uh, last time you guys seen it, uh, or I am using a worsted weight yarn and a G hook, which is a 4.5 millimeter. I used a bigger hook than she called for because I'm a bigger size. Uh, and so far it's making my size. She basically says that in her pattern to just use a bigger hook if you need bigger or a smaller hook if you need smaller. Or you could also adjust the yarn weight. Anyways, so last time you seen it, I was completely done with the first panel, which I realized today when I was getting it down, there's still some ends I need to weave in, so I'll try to do that. But here's the first panel. I'm just going to kind of hold it up for you. The yarns that I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver um, Soft White. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't remember if this is Orchid or a different one. And this one is called um, Raspberry or Dark Raspberry. It's not lies, lot raspberry, it's one of them. <laughs> but anyway, so the first panel is completely done, other than I do have like 10 ends I gotta weave in. And then yesterday I finished the second panel. I had a little bit of heartache with the second panel though. So here, here it is. It is the same size. I had an issue though with this corner. As you can see, the corners look different. <laughs> this will flatten out once there's a, like a, it'll look better once it's all pieced together. Hopefully, <laughs> or maybe I messed it up, who knows, but, um, so I did this side and everything worked the way it's supposed to. I had the same right amount of stitches and everything. And then I was attaching over here to start the second size where you square it off for the bottom of your sweater. Go all the way down to the white and I was, I had the wrong amount of stitches and I was like, oh no. So I, I couldn't find my mistake like early on. And then, so I ripped it all out to the pink where you first start it. And it was down here, actually. I messed up down here. So I was like, oh, okay, that, that was it. And then I made it again. <laughs> and then it was still off. So I don't know where else I messed up here. But I gave up. I just did what the best I could right there. Just to try to get the same shaping. And I'm just going to make it work. I might make this the back panel. <laughs> and I'm going to make it work. I'm just going to make it work. <laughs> I don't care if there's mistakes in it. Um, because once it's done, no one's going to notice it but me. So, I do have both the panels together. I thought I was going to be able to put the um, panels together. But the way this one's constructed, you make the sleeves first and they're they're flat. So, I got to make my two sleeves. And then you attach the two panels together at the shoulders. Up here. Inside out. You know, you put right, the sides you want facing out together. And then you attach them. And then you lay it out flat. And you lay out your flat, your sleeve flat, and you attach it. And then you fold it all, and then you attach the last ones. It's kind of confusing <laughs> how I'm saying it, but it looks like a pretty easy way to construct a sweater. So I'm like in the home stretch, I think, because the sleeves aren't that big. I gotta make the cuff, and then I think there's 42 rows, but you know, I might have to alter that. Um, I'll measure it on my arm, you know, so I can get it the right length that I want it. And, uh, and then after that, I just have to do the, uh, Attaching it all together, which should be pretty easy, and then going back and doing the collar <laughs> and then the border broom thingy at the bottom. So it's coming along, it's coming along, it's coming along. I hope it looks good on me. 
If it doesn't, I might give it to somebody because I don't know. But I'm, I'm happy with it. I will leave the pattern, the videos linked down below for you to check them out if you want to make it. And I will also leave all those ladies I just talked about down below, even though they didn't make videos this month. Um, you know, you can still watch their videos. <laughs> and you can watch the past ones or you can just subscribe to them or whatever, you know, if you like them. Uh, and then I will be back next month, August, sometime in August, <laughs> to update you on my sweater. And who knows, it might be done by then. Probably not, though, because I haven't had a lot of time to work on it. I finished this panel just yesterday. I was watching a movie. I had some time to myself. And I uh, finished it, ripped it out, and finished it again. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> but I got my panels, and I, I didn't need... There's like 10 hands I gotta weave in to do that. And they'll be completely ready for me to start on the sleeves. So that is my update. <laughs> like I said, I'll leave everything linked below for you guys to check out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.